Hello everyone, my name's Claire and welcome to the British Motor Museum. Today I'm going to tell you a story about Matt. Who's Matt, I hear you ask? Well, Matt is a major aircraft tow tractor who lives and works at an airport. How cool is that? Matt's job is to push and pull massive aeroplanes because they're too big and clumsy to drive themselves safely around the airport. Now, Matt's quite small. So how on earth does he pull those massive planes? Do you know? It's all to do with his engine. You see, it might be small, but it's really strong. I think today, Matt might need a little bit of help with his story because he's not very fast. Do you think you can do that? Oh, fantastic. So, when I count to three, what we're going to do is we're going to do a big pulling motion like this and we're going to shout, heave. Should we do a practice? Okay. One, two, three, heave. That was fantastic, but I bet you can do it even louder. One more time. Let's go. One, two, three, heave. Fantastic. Let's hear Matt's story. So, one winter's day, Matt was at work at the airport when his radio squawked. Radio to Matt, radio to Matt. Your friend York will be arriving on the runway in T minus five minutes. Over and out. Five minutes until Matt's friend, York the aeroplane, arrived on the runway. Let's count to five, shall we? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant! Only five minutes to go. Matt raced across the airport, but then he had to screech to a halt as a fire engine needed to come past. And now he only had four minutes to go. Let's count, shall we? One, two, three, four. Brilliant! Four minutes? Uh-oh! Can you do an uh-oh? Uh-oh! Brilliant! Matt raced to the edge of the runway. Now he only had three minutes to go. Let's count everybody. One, two, three. Three minutes. Are you ready with an uh-oh? Uh-oh. Matt looked up. He could see York flying towards the airport with some really scary looking clouds behind him that were probably going to catch up with him when he landed in two minutes time. Let's count, shall we? One, two, two minutes. Uh-oh. Today, York was faster than the wind and the clouds, so he came in to descend with only one minute to go. Uh-oh. He came down onto the runway, meow, and his tyres screeched on the tarmac as he landed safely. Arr! Can you do that noise? Meow. Arr! Shall we all do it? Meow. Arr! Fantastic. York rolled across the runway as Matt rushed to meet him with the scary clouds looming overhead. And the scary clouds brought snow. Can you do that? Pretty soon, the snow had settled an inch thick. Matt had to move York off the runway quick, so he pulled and his engine revved Vroom, vroom. But York didn't go anywhere. What was wrong? Well, thanks to the cold, slippery snow, poor Matt's wheels were just spinning round and round. 
if he didn't get York off the runway soon, there might be a crash. Dun, dun, dun. But Matt knew just what to do. He went and got snow chains. Snow chains give Matt's wheels extra grip. Like when you rub your hands together like this, the force friction. But I still think he's going to need your help to pull York out the way. Remember the heave. Are you ready? One, two, three, heave. Oh, brilliant. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, heave. Then suddenly, Matt and York heard the sound of another aeroplane's engines ahead. They had to get moving pretty sharpish. Let's do one really big pull now. You ready? One, two, three, heave. Fantastic, everyone. Just in time, Matt and York rolled off the runway as their friend Piper came in to land. Matt was very out of puff, but he was very relieved that Piper was safe. Piper and York tried to say thank you to Matt, but he was asleep. Shh, let's all do the noise of Matt snoring, shall we? And that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for helping Matt to save the day. And it just goes to show, anyone can ask for help no matter how strong they are. See you all again next time. Bye.